I am unsure of uh Yo Rugburn, is that a bald eagle? Oh good. You see it too. Thought I was having a little personal nightmare. It's not a bald eagle, by the way. That's an owl. Also a little offensive. But it's not real though, right? Like we just got ripped out of our faces and started seeing that owl and shit. Right? right? I'm just kind of sliding into this at the same time you are, actually. So, not sure. Ooh, God, I hate when he does that neck thing. Creeps me out. He looks like a John Henson puppet. Oh, the guy from Talk Soup? He made puppets too, or do you mean Jim Henson? No, nah, that was Greg Kinnear. John Henson was after him, and before Ross's hot black girlfriend on Friends. That's Aisha Tyler. You better have some respect. She was fine as a motherfucker. Uh, who? Uh, who? What are you telling him? I asked him who he is. Hey, have you ever heard of the Mothman? Nah, who that be? Well, that be a long story. But basically, a giant owl terrorized a town. It was absolutely terrifying. Uh, rip shit apart. But, uh, hey, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a burnout Benny strain. Like, owl in your living room weed. Maybe it's that. Is it that? Nah, you know what? You don't remember? The Muppet Baby weed? Muppet Baby? What? I don't remember that. We just did that? What, did we learn how to build a rocket ship or something cool like that? We got chased by a giant in striped sock. Cut! <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. And then we ended up here. So that mean that owl is real? Yes. Is this how we die? Yes. <laughs> Cartoon for Stoners 22. It's almost old enough to have to pay for its own insurance. <laughs> Here you go, sir. You have yourself a wonderful day. Hmm. Mexicans are my favorite race of people. They're always friendly and they never complain. They make the best food and they're easily the hardest workers. Plus they carpool to work. You know what? All right, let's rank the races. Let's go top 10. Wait, is there 10 races? Hmm, maybe just the top five then. All right, number five, favorite race is um, Middle Eastern. That's what Jesus was, and the pyramids and stuff. Are Egyptians the same as Middle Easterners? Is Middle Easterner a word? Maybe I should learn more about them. Uh, let's go to number four race. Uh, number four favorite race is Asians. Almost as good a food as the Mexicans. Almost as nice, too. Plus Nintendo. Number three will be uh, Indians. Also almost as friendly as Mexicans, but a ton of doctors. Probably the smartest race. What number was that? Was that three? Okay, so there's just number two then, really. Uh, number two would be... I guess it kind of have to be white people, right? What did we do? Uh, we built Mount Rushmore from Native American land that we stole, but uh, we built the railroads. Well, Chinese people did, but we kind of like directed them. Country music, frisbees, gas burning vehicles, uh, Miracle Whip. Yo, what you doing, eating a burrito or some shit? Yeah, I'm actually in my head, uh, ranking the races. Kind of fun. Oh, that ain't no good. Where'd you put black people? Uh, black people? Number one. All-time favorite, you know that. That's some bullshit. Hey, I'm making Jenny some of my beef stew tonight, so I'm hoping I can find some fresh shit here at the farmer's market. Lots of hipsters here trying to piss me off. How are they trying to piss you off? Uh, look at me. I grow stuff that you can't smoke. Uh, look at me. I'm so special. I never eat fast food. I eat g grass and drink green slime. Uh. 
Maybe you wouldn't shit your pants if you ate some vegetables once in a while. I don't shit my pants. I just have poop periodically come out sometimes. Okay? It's a different thing. It's not shitting my pants just because there's shit on my underwear. Sounds like we're both making beef stew. Uh, nope, just you. Gross. I don't like beef stew. Oh, because the poop? Is that a poop joke? Fuck you. Oh, look, there's the carrots over there. These carrots are way smaller than the ones at the store. Well, that's because these are organically grown, without toxic poisons. Ah, hipster Cal, trying to make some extra cash selling mini carrots, I see. They're not mini. This is how big they're supposed to be. You sound like Rugburn on a first date. Find the carrot that you want and let's get the hell out of here. We also have some green beans and kale on the other end. Nice. I'm gonna make me some salads this week. Salads? Jesus, Ellis, what is Jenny doing to you? A real friend would support healthy dietary choices. Shut the fuck up, you carrot-shrinking son of a bitch! Uh-oh. Hey, spaz attack. If you're gonna spaz out, can you do it in front of the apple cart over there? Thanks. Excuse me? Did you just call this person spaz attack? Oh, hey, Ripley. Uh, yeah. You see, he... He always likes to fly off the handle and... Do you know how offensive the word spaz is to people with disabilities? Uh, yeah, I I do actually. It's just, I, I didn't mean to... He's been calling me that for years. He thinks that my uh, disability is funny, I guess. He doesn't actually have a disability. He tells me to stop moving because it makes him uncomfortable. I try to control it, but he is faking it. You see what I mean? I do see. Kelvin, as the president of the Northeast Farmer's Market, I am shutting down your veggie stand effective immediately. Hate speech is not tolerated here. Ha, huh, you heard the man. I am not a man, I am not a him. My pronouns are they and them. Cool. You can call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for dinner. Am I right? I'll just leave. Hey, Ellis, if you could have one wish, what would it be? Didn't we do this before? Uh, maybe, but I have a different answer. I'd wish to die peacefully in my sleep at the age of 81 years old. Cool, I'd wish for a foot fetish. Oh, you got a foot fetish, huh? Okay, I got a few magazines in my porn archive if you, uh, want to check that out. Got one called Toe Jam. You might dig that. No thanks, Ellis. The point is, I'm sadly not into feet. But what if I was? What if all it took to get me off was someone's foot? How easy would life be? What does that mean? Want to make it easy? Dig, if you will, a picture, Alice. Oh, hi. I want to be so aroused I explode in my Target underwear. Where to go? How about the beach where there are hundreds of bare feet? I have another foot mag. It's called the Ankle Bumps. It's from Canada. I would just sit back on my beach chair and look at all the naked feet. Right? I assume the sight of wiggly toes to them would be like a pair of big bouncy titties to us. I would Google it, but my search history is already in rough shape. I don't know much about foot fetishes, though. So, like, is it just women's feet or all feet? I assume all feet, right? I mean, if you were into feet, wouldn't you, like, want the biggest foot you could get your hands on? Like a big, big foot. Do you need both feet, or you can you, like, just get it off on one? I'm not sure it matters, as the other one is usually pretty close by. But I would think you would want the pair. Do you have sex with the foot? Assuming you would most enjoy a foot job, and to really pull that off, you need two feet. Otherwise, you would, like, just be getting lightly kicked in the dick. Of course, maybe that's part of the deal. I don't know. I wish I could Google it, so but... So basically, your wish is to have Shaquille O'Neal rub his giant feet on your nuts? See, yeah, when you say it like that, it really it loses its appeal, doesn't it? You know what? We can do a quick test. Uh, take off your shoes. We'll see if it gives me an erection. We'll be skipping that test. Uh, I will offer you this. I have a magazine called Corn Porn. Corn? I'm talking about feet, not corn. Oh, I get it. Ha, that's kind of funny. If you send it my way, I'll give it a look. Sure. Later, this happened. Now we're at a fake McDonald's, just a cartoon McDonald's, not a real one. Please don't sue me, McDonald's Ray Kroc. Hey, yo, are you into feet? Feet? What do you mean? Like the sight of feet. Does that do anything for you? 
I like when someone has freshly painted nails, I suppose, or after a good pedicure. No, not like that. Like, maybe it's just a dude thing. Why do you ask? Are you in defeat? No, girl. I have a titty fetish. Your titties. Brown bear. I can take your order. I'll have a double cheeseburger and a medium pop. I'll take a 10-piece nugget and a medium Coke. You want cheese on your burger? Yes, I said cheeseburger, but thank you for uh, double-checking. Yeah, d a cheese on the cheeseburger. 1834. We'll call your number when your order is ready. He wasn't the nicest, was he? Yeah, that dude's a piece of shit. It's all right to call him a piece of shit. You're too nice, girl. I know, I just remember being in the, you know, in the food industry, and it's hard. It really is. You're as sweet as honey. And you're my big brown bear. 388, here's your food. Oh, no. What is it? Darn it, they gave me a McChicken instead of a cheeseburger. Oh, damn. Hey, you want some of my nuggets? No, I want my cheeseburger. Yeah, but you've been eating those uh, Mac chickens every once in a while. Maybe just have it, have it this time. You're not going to go up there and complain? You want me to go up there? Why? They made my food right. I'm going to go up there, and they're just going to call me a Karen. Men are never Karens. Well, damn. I'm not really used to complaining, you know? I usually have a... Uh, you know what? One sec. Hey, what's up, Ellis? We're at Mac and Down Supper Club, and they just gave Jenny a McChicken instead of a cheeseburger. Are you at the one at Lake or Snelling? Lake Street. I already know. Who's the motherfucker who doesn't know what a cheeseburger is? Morning. Any customers yet? Wow, bright and early today, I see. Yeah, there was a newlywed couple doing some stupid photo shoot, so I made them buy something or get out. Did they get out? Yep. That's fine, though. I saw him holding up a Ringo LP and doing, like, the peace sign for some stupid Instagram post. And that annoyed me. I don't know why, but whatever. Well, I had an interesting night. Oh, good. A banging story. Fun. What food did you incorporate this time? What food? No, it did not like that. Hey, but remind me to tell you about the Butterfinger. I will not be reminding you about the Butterfinger. Thanks, though. Last night, Jenny had an intervention for me. What, is that some new trend or something? People do interventions? What did you, were you giving her too many orgasms? Binging TV shows too much? Being a Timberwolves fan? What? Drinking. Oh, so a real one. Was it just her? No, nah, her parents and sister and a few other people. What other people? I don't know. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about it. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to accept the what fact that... What other people, Ellis? What other people? Damn! Uh, Nick. Cracker Nick got invited? What? Who else? Well, damn, man, I wasn't surveying the room. It doesn't matter. What I'm telling you is I think Jenny is right. And I've decided This that is bullshit, Ellis. What is? This absolute fraudulent intervention. That's what. Well, you don't think I have a drinking problem? What? Drinking problem? You? Oh, for sure you have a drinking problem. You're a terrible drunk. But that intervention was trash, Ellis. All right, whatever. I'm done drinking, okay? No beer, wine, yag bombs, nothing. I'm done. Look, quit if you want, but don't do it because of that stupid-ass intervention. Who else was there? Jared. Your skateboard buddy from high school? Jesus, I didn't even know you still talked to him. I really don't, but man, it was good to catch up with them. For sure. So is that everyone? Oh, uh, did I already say DJ? No, you fucking didn't. Are you serious? You invited fucking DJ, but not me. Okay, okay. Today is the first day of my new life going forward. Why? Because a bunch of strangers told you that you're a shit drunk? Whoopty fucking ding dong. If I was you, I'd go to the F Scott right now and get fucking blitzed. And then I'd bang the first woman I see. That's what I'd do. That's just me, though. That's not very supportive, is it? Why would I be supportive when I wasn't even invited to the fucking party? It wasn't a party. You know what? Why don't I just call your uh, beautiful fiance and ask her why I wasn't good enough for your party? Not a party. Then why were all your friends there? I don't have her number. 651-555-4323. Thank you. Hello, James. Nice of you to finally call back. Yeah, hey, Jenny, how's it going? 
just learning today that my best friend in the world has a drinking problem and that you uh, had a surprise party for him, <laughs> but forgot to invite the most important person in his life, which is me. So, yeah. It was an intervention, not a surprise party. And I did try to contact you a handful of times, but every time I did, you would scream the most hateful things anyone has ever said to me. When I would call to discuss this further with you at a later date, you again would berate me. It was awful. It was awful. So if you're calling to apologize, which you definitely should, then maybe we could... Huh. Bro, you just hang up on her? But that doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make any sense? She says she was trying to call to invite me, but I kept screaming at her every time she would call. But I don't remember screaming at her. Maybe it's the clarity without alcohol, but I already know what's happening here. And I'm excited for you to find out. When are you going to put it together? Put it together. Hmm. I don't know, Ellis. Uh, was I sleepwalking? Nope. Was I blackout junk? Nope. Ah, what the hell? I just don't remember screaming at Jenny over the phone. Why would I do that? Oh, here's another unknown number. Wonder what they're trying to sell this time. Hello, you rotting cum bucket. I don't give a shit what you want or who you think I am, but I hope only terrible things happen to you and your whole fucking family. You are beyond worthless. You are a cancer on human existence. This is Jenny, isn't it? Jenny. <laughs> okay, I see what happened here. Hey, Ellis. Who is your uncancelable person? What does uncannable mean? Not uncannibal. Uncancelable. Uncancelable. No, you're saying uncanstable. It's uncanstable. No, now I'm doing it. It's uncanstable. Canstable. God damn it. Uncancelable. God, uh, someone who can't be canceled. Oh, uh, well, I would say Michael Jackson, but he's a victim. And you all are the villains messing up my boy with fame and Brooke Shields and shit. No, I mean someone still doing stuff. Uh, like you would support them no matter what they've been accused of. No matter what? Yeah. What if they're like a Jeffrey Dahmer or some shit? Well, yeah, not if, not if they do that, of course. Don't kill the topic, come on. I will add, I listened to Phil Spector recordings well after he was convicted, so I didn't really feel bad about it. That says a lot about you. What does it say about me? You already know. I know. Martin Lawrence. Why'd you just say that name? Look, I'm Batman. Because no matter what, I'm gonna love Martin Lawrence. Nice, back on topic. Usually you lose interest by now. Uh, hey, mine is Chevy Chase. They've been trying to cancel him for like 50 years. Wow, what did he do? He quit SNL after the first season to be a star, became a star, pissed off everyone he ever worked with, made a movie with J Double T. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, motherfucker. And then he was a racist a bit with uh, Donald Glover on Community. Allegedly. 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 There it is. So you're saying Chevy Chase is kind of a racist piece of shit and that's who you're picking? Allegedly. God. Allegedly. 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 But to defend him a little bit, uh, Vacation, Christmas Vacation, Fletch. Come on, that's just too good. Damn, that must be really good if he can cancel out racism like that. It is. I mean, if we're going to do, like, a, a thing, it is. It's that good. Does that make me reprehensible? Fuck. hence applicable. Does that make me repless liable? Reprehensible. Hence the rep reprehensible. Liable slabble. rep a pencil rip a pencil cord rip a lipple card rip a pepper ball rex a plexible rip a helmba reprehensible all right burn up any what is this magic we do Oh, nothing, man. It's just kind of good old-fashioned weed. You're just going to get real high. All right. <laughs> DJ, what are you seeing? <laughs> DJ, do you copy? <laughs> DJ, I can hear you, but I don't know what you're saying. DJ, come in. <laughs> DJ, DJ, yeah, <laughs> I can hear you. They found you.
All right, clowns. I'm the green pellet, and you picked the wrong place to bring your buffoonery. This is your last chance to leave before I officially become angry. We don't know who you are or what you're talking about. Oh, playing another silly clown game. I met a clown once, a few years back. Had a real dumb clown name to go along with his real dumb racist face. What was his name? Hmm, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh yeah, Mr. Kettlepot. Oh, fuck you, man. We were having a nice time before you came in, and we are honestly a little bit put off with you waving a gun around. Yeah, it's a pellet gun. A big, scary pellet gun. That's why I'm called the Green Pellet. But I'm glad you're scared. Just like, uh, just like you scare the black people every time you wipe that grease all over your face. I'm confused, sir. This is a big weekend for us, and I'm afraid we're going to have to call security on you. You ever heard the phrase clown chicken? That's what you are. You're all clowns, and you're also chickens, as in chicken shit. What? DJ, now. What is that? It's a big flower, just like clowns wear. Wait. You mean... Yep. I hope your clown makeup is waterproof. Hello, sir. Are you ready? You know it. Let's do this. I heard there's like a convention in the hotel this weekend. I wonder what the convention's for. Oh, not sure. I didn't see any other groups here. I now officially introduce to you all Mr. and Mrs. Griggs. You may kiss your beautiful bride. <coughs> Attention! We are the police! We are looking for a man who has just assaulted over 100 people with a giant flower. Has anyone seen a man with square glasses, green clothing, and a part down the middle? He calls himself the Green Pellet. DJ, now. I hope you like your wedding gift. It's perfect. Thanks, man. Hey, Ellis. Did you already tip on the online order? You did. How much? Well, are you setting me up to look like a dick last time you did? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. She made me purchase the little cup of mayo. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Okay, so you tipped? Okay, I'm getting it now. I'm just praying there's not a line. Ah, look at this guy. Why just here for pickup. I didn't butt. Butt. Not oh, butting. Okay, what a jerk off this guy. Name? James Rugburn. I don't see a James Rugtorn. Oh, maybe because it's Rugburn. James Rugburn. Nope, no writer. Next. Wait, no. Maybe it's under my friend's name. He ordered, so, uh, Ellis Griggs. Maybe you should get in the back of the line. Different lines. I already ordered. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I or- well, my friend ordered, and I'm picking it up. Is there any orders back there? I have a lot of orders, but you ain't looking at them. You budding lion, and now you're trying to steal the food? Hey, apparently queso sauce makes people stupid assholes. Next. Order for Roberts. Here you go, hon, and I threw a little uh, mayo in for ya. Thank you. Ellis, what name did you put down for the order? Yeah. Stop it. What? No, you didn't. Be serious. What name did you use for the order? Come on, you prick, just tell me the name. You're serious. Oh, I hate you so much. This is the last time I'm ever picking up food for you. Mm. Next. I, uh, I got the name that the order is under. Name. Um, it is, um, Miss Potato Pussy. Miss what? Uh, Miss Potato Pussy. What? Miss Potato what? Um, <clears throat> Miss Potato Pussy. It could be under Mrs. Potato Pussy. Dude, you're a perv, too. There's two lines, you fucking moron. One has nothing to do with the other. 
I don't see an order for a potato pussy. Not a Miss Potato Pussy, not a Mrs. Potato Pussy. It's got to be back there. Look again. Oh, here's one that just came up. Ellis Griggs. Oh, that motherfucker. Thanks for inviting me to your step-nephew's birthday party, Ellis. It's not step-nephew, just nephew. I married his mom's sister. Yeah, I don't know how families work. I've only had the one. All right, try not to be embarrassing, okay? I'm only letting you come because you found that magician. It wasn't really that hard. I saw a post on Reddit and bada-bing. Yeah, I don't do that dark web stuff. Reddit isn't dark web. Hey, yo, how do my eyes look? They look like the eyes of someone scared of a middle-aged white man. Don't embarrass me. Oh, yeah. Thank you all for coming to celebrate our little Jacob's seventh birthday. I love getting the whole family together for any reason, but when it's something as special as my only grandson's birthday, well, then we kind of go all out. Isn't that right, Darlene? Yup. Let's get the party started. I brought a bunch of $1 bills for the strippers. Just a joke to help read the room. No strippers this time, Jacob. My name is James. I'm Ellis's best friend, and I helped find the magician. There's a magician? Oh, yes. Uh, that was supposed to be a surprise. Awesome, was it really? Well, I'm honored that I got to be the one to do the surprising. Thank you for that, Hank. My name's Phil. Phil what? McCra- Who's ready for some magic? Poof. So, Ellis, when are you thinking about starting a family with my daughter? Yeah, uh... Well, I figured we would enjoy, ma you know, being married for a little bit and uh, then make our big plan, you know, after that, you know. How long were you and Darlene married before you had Brenda? Nine months. Sounds like a pretty good honeymoon. It was. We went to Rapid City, South Dakota. Saw a crazy horse. And for my next trick, I'm going to cut this teddy bear in half. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Hey, we only hired one magician. Are you James? I spoke with you on the phone. Sorry I'm late. Forgot my briefcase. But wait, if you're the magician, then who is that inside the house? And for my final trick, I'm going to make a woman disappear. <laughs> oh my god, he's got it. Don't Oh my god, it's my ex-husband, Brandon. I guess you forgot to send Daddy an invite to his own son's party. Now who's the abusive one? <laughs> not today, evil magician, not today. Well, it looks like the green pellet's job here is done. Have a wonderful rest of your birthday, Jacob. Hey, Ellis, I didn't tell you about the kid asking if we sell that Delta stuff. Oh, yeah? What'd you tell him? I told him until Minnesota legalizes real weed, as in flour, we don't sell anything. My God, Ellis, do you remember how hard it used to be being a stoner back in the day? Yeah. I wasn't walking around asking shop owners if they got any. That's for damn sure. Yeah, they have zero fear now. These Zennials have no idea how good they have it. Heard that. Remember how hard it was in high school to just get an eighth? Yup. Let's sit back and remember a simpler time, Ellis. Cool. All right, here we go. Are you just remembering on your own, or what? Oh, sorry, I left without you. My bad. It was the summer between 10th and 11th grade. We already decided we liked weed, and we were on the search for more. Yup, I know that's right. Hey, Ellis. Not sure if you've been formally introduced, but this is DJ. I know DJ. He used to hook me up with free soft shells at Taco John's before it burned down. It only took an hour. 
Like, damn, dude, that's... That's straight up tripping, Holmes. Yeah, yo, wiggity whack, that Cracker Jack. Why you being like crazy, fool? Don't ever talk like that again. Do not ever do a black voice ever again. Not in my presence, ever. Okay, yo. I mean, man. My mom is waiting outside and said to bring her back an ice cream cone. The one that you're eating? Yeah. Weird. Are you going to puke it in her mouth? Like a penguin? Up, Chuck. Ralph, spew. Stop saying all the current ways we say barf. Do you know anyone who sells chronic? Don't call it chronic. Then what should I call it? Reefer. Reefer? That's like from the 1940s. I have reefer. You do? See, now we're talking. It's really green, too. And smelly. Awesome. Let's see it. It's at my house, behind the garage. Oh, hey, couldn't help but uh, overhear you guys talking about reefer, huh? Yeah, maybe I should go tell my buddy, the cop over there, about your little uh, gray duck chase, huh? Okay. The team looks great this year, Melissa. Some of the best volleyball I've seen in Happy Valley High School in like 10 years. For sure, yeah. Yeah, so I noticed that Stephanie's really coming to her own on the court and off. And, uh, hey, uh, you don't happen to have her phone number, do you? I just wanted to maybe... Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro. Not for that. I, just, I was just going to tell her not to do any drugs. You know, like dare. Ah. All right, DJ. Ellis and I will follow you home, and we'll check out this ganja. Jesus, don't call it ganja. Well, I'm the one buying it, so I'll call it whatever the frickin' butt I want. You need to check yourself. Or what? Will I wreck myself? Uh, yeah. I've been researching, Ellis. I was on the World Wide Web for an hour last night. We're driving. 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 I'm not seeing it, DJ. Where's the marijuana? It's called Reaper. It's right there in front of you. Uh, okay. All I see is some Christmas decorations and a dead squirrel. Yeah, it's really smelly. What is, the squirrel? The reefer. What reefer? I don't, I don't see it. You must be deaf. What? Where is the pot, DJ? Right there in front of you. Uh, that's a Christmas wreath, DJ. Yeah, a reefer. Huh? You wanted a reefer. Here it is. It's green and smelly. Uh, this is a wreath. You think a wreath is reefer? Holy shit, dude. Hey, I wondered before if you might be, uh... You know, but I wasn't sure. Are you mentally retarded, DJ? My mom says I'm special. That's pretty cool, DJ. I think we're gonna be friends for a long time. Yeah, uh, me too. Okay, hey, let's go. Where are they now? Oh, I hate this idea so much. Too bad, we're desperate. Smile and don't say anything. Hey, Ellis. I see you brought your little Jamie with. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, remember last month at Dell's party and you guys were passing around all those joints? You had them in a little bag. You still got any of those? Wouldn't mind snatching up a couple. No, nah, man. Sorry. Coach caught us and the officer back and stole his stash. Doesn't matter, though. Gotta stay pumped for state, bro. All about the tourney. Cool story, Taylor. Hey, what sport are you playing, pussy ball? Hey, Jared, what's going on? I haven't seen you since uh, you went off that ramp at the mall. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Oh, for sure, yeah. Too bad I didn't have my wind-up camera with me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you got any weed? Oh, man, no, I wish. Hey, if you find any, uh, I got five on it. Don't nice. Hey, neighbor and co-worker. How's it going? Oh, wow, it's Jamie and Ellis. Uh, what's happening? Totally glad you stopped by. Yeah, it would be super quick. Just curious if you had any weed that we could buy. Oh, I, uh, I never tried it before, you know. I, I wish someone would ask me, though. Oh, okay. Uh, you're really no help to us at all, then. Uh, thanks anyway, Jacob. It's Jason, actually. Jason Warren. Well, I'm out of ideas. God, I wish they'd just legalize it. Minnesota legalizing recreational marijuana? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, maybe you could, like, 
go visit your cousins downtown and get some, if you know what I mean. Cousins? What cousins? Uh, your cousins. Meaning, you know... The black people in the hood? Yeah. Isn't there weed all over the place there? Well, why don't you go to the ghetto and get some? I would, but I can't understand what they're saying. Can you understand me? Yeah, but you're half white. Interesting. So is that how it works? Apparently. I mean, I can understand your white dad, but I cannot understand your black mom. You better watch out. My black mom is going to beat your white ass. Hey, is that officer back is smoking a joint in his car? It is. Hey, I bet those are Taylor's joints. Didn't he say that he just stole his stash? Yeah, you're right. Okay, we need to somehow sneak into his squad car and grab those joints. But we gotta be on the DL, right? What does DL mean? Oh, dick lips? Like dick sucking lips? DS. Down low. Wait. On the down low. Down quiet. Okay, quiet. I got it. Alright, so how do we get in? Well, by the looks of it, we just walk up and take them because dude just passed out. Look at him. Windows wide open. This plan is planning itself. Uh, zoink. And zoink. This is this stuff here. Boy, tell piece of shit Taylor he rolls a mean joint. Word up. Hey, how come you let your skateboard buddy start doing rap songs, but when I do them, you always tell me to not do that? What you talking about? You dumb. Shut up. Word up. That's why. Hey, Ellis. What should we call our record store when we open one? I don't know. Maybe, uh, like, uh, Ellis Records or something like Griggs Music or some shit. Yeah, I said when we open ours, not just you. We wouldn't probably name it you, okay? Too bad. Sounds cool. Well, I kind of had a name bouncing around my head. Uh, I wrote it down in my notebook. It's called, uh, uh, Needles. The fuck? Needles? I don't know. It sounds like a bunch of junkies or something. No, like needles. Like on a record player. The needle that hits the groove makes the music. Oh. But yeah, you're right. It does sound a little druggy. Uh, how about something that's like represents our friendship? You know, like this place where we are right now. We always come here to smoke weed. It's where we got the idea for it. All right. How about Oak Tree Records? Yeah, uh, how about a little something, uh, like, uh, Maple Leaf Music. Maple Leaf Music. Maple Leaf Music, that's great, that's isn't it? That's a Canada shit, right? That's a Canada. Oh, yeah, I suppose. What is something in the forest that, like, you know, means something to records, right? Or music, or, uh, you know, too bad there's not, like, a tree that has, like, needles instead of leaves. Yeah. Uh, wait. wait. Hey, everyone. Thanks for making it this long. We're just going to try to get to 10 minutes here. I think we passed it. And uh, uh, now I can get an ad in. And maybe you can go buy a shirt. Huh? Woo!